Hello there, well it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Okay, now today's make is a bit of an odd one. I'm going to make a whoopee cushion and I'm going to decorate it in this red and hopefully I have enough, which is always the way. I was going, should I use that? Should I risk it? Should I risk it? Now, okay, so I looked on the internet and I checked what a whoopee cushion looks like. And in fact, all the pictures I could find were of sort of pink rubber. And um, that wouldn't do at all. Because the way I remember is with a distinct sort of, I suppose they're diamonds, pentagrams, uh, not pentagrams, parallelograms. And then the words whoopee cushion written underneath. Okay, so that's how I remember it, and that's how I'm going to do it, because the person that I'm making this for wouldn't want a pink cushion, wouldn't want a sort of fake rubber pink cushion, but they could quite easily get away with sort of a, a beige one. Okay, now before I start sewing, it's quite important to get the spacing right for your words. Well, the spacing right for anything, pattern-wise. Um, now, because I'm... And um, it's a good idea to check your spelling, because uh, it's more than likely you're using somebody's name, really, isn't it? And um, I don't know, if you, if you spell it wrong, then it's a lot of work, probably a very upset friend. And, um, yeah, but it's a good idea to get your spacing right, check your spelling as well, and, um, yeah, that's fine. I can put that there, and then I can get on cutting out the letters and then my parallelograms. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now before I set the machine up to do the embroidery, I'm going to do this. Now, this is the sort of engine end <laughs> I don't know how to put that politely so all I'm going to do is I'm not going to sew it into the cushion because I want it sealed it's quite lightweight material this it's sort of like a muslim canvas type thing and um, so what I'm doing is I'm just stretching the stitches to make sure they're not buckled and then I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to leave this bit open so I can turn it inside out. And in fact, I may even um, leave some stuffing in there as well. But I'm not, I'm not going to hem it together. So, okay. Yeah, so that's that done. The next thing I need to do is I need to set up the machine so that I can embroider these letters on. All right. That's the big job. And then when it's done, then I'm going to sew the cushion. But I just feel it would be easier if I was working with one layer of fabric and I wasn't having um, things caught up. Okay. So, welcome back. Okay, so I've got lots done. I'm literally just finishing this off. Now, um, one thing I would say is that if you don't catch the red... Okay, you're better off sewing on the red than just sewing on the yellow. So, I know, because sometimes if you leave your needle down, then yeah, you do get a nice straight line from the back. But, it's not necessarily good from the front. So there we are. We've got our pattern sewn on. Looks better from the back. <laughs> and then what we have to do is line these two up and sew around the outside. Easy, easy. I'm going to keep the rough waft of the cloth the same, the reft waft. Anyway, and I'm going to put that there. And I think this should go at the bottom. Now, because of the curb of the way we've cut it, we need it to curb back out again. So best way to do it, a couple of pins. So I'm going to pin one side and then I'm going to pin the other side. I also 
need to leave a hole so I can stuff it. But it's just curving inwards, so it's um, and I want it to look nice. In fact, what I'll do is I won't even worry. <sighs> of course, I need that on the outside, so I'm just going to pin it once to place it. so let's do it that side up so make sure we set the sewing machine back to normal stitch I can go a bit larger and then a circle and you can pin this all the way around up to you whether you deliberately don't catch the lettering or you catch it slightly. I'm going for the slightly and I'm actually giving myself quite a large hem allowance but that's because this type of fabric and um, And then I'm coming up to where I'm going to turn it inside out. A couple of reverse stitches just to give it some strength because I'm going to pull this seam. And then if I put my hand in there. Now I recommend loose stuffing. But oh, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? Okay, so yes, I might as well pause it whilst I stuff it. I don't think that's interesting. Hello there, welcome back. So, uh, we've now got it stuffed, and I do want it lightly stuffed, uh, I, you know, because whoopee cushions are. And then we have to turn this in. Now, it's entirely up to you. I would suggest if you hand sew it, that's brilliant, and just tiny, tiny stitches. But if you do top stitch it on the sewing machine, then really you need to top stitch all the way around. So that's what I've been doing. And obviously it's stuffed, so we have to be careful not to catch too much stuffing in the seam. So let's just push that out. And then we're on the stitches now. And then this little lot is going to be tricky. Normally, I recommend that you turn it inside out on a straight bit. And sometimes I will deliberately cut a straight bit. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I deliberately cut a straight bit across the back to, to turn it inside out. But yes, literally each stitch at a time. And then we should continue the curve of the, the cushion. So, you know, it's not that easy. As many pins as you like. And just remember, one stitch at a time. So I'm quite physically pushing the cushion down just so that I can join up my line of stitches there. I have left it quite rough so you can see that I have done that. And rather than reverse stitching and... Um, putting the fabric out, then I've just done it that way. So there we are, my whoopee cushion. Um, I'm really pleased with her. Uh, it, is, it is a Christmas present. Um, as you know, uh, making Christmas presents for men is quite difficult. So I wanted something that is completely fun. All right, so yes. Do give it a go. Technique is quite sound. Um, I've done larger stitches than you normally would. 
and I did say at the beginning of the film I was going to use uh, cotton to do the embroidery. Okay, why I used felt is I thoroughly recommend it. Okay, that's just placed on and that's quite a large angle before it even moves, isn't it really? So it's got that natural friction to it which makes life so much easier. And if I use cotton then I'd have to do smaller stitches and then I'd, I'd be sewing all afternoon. Which, if it's a present, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the vid. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee.